Hello everyone, welcome back to another VTOL VR tutorial. Today we're going to talk about the new UFC, the new upfront controls. This is the UFC. It's got a whole series of buttons that do a bunch of different things. So first off, we'll talk about one and two, radio and standby. The radio and standby buttons allow you to change and swap the two frequencies you have over here. So the first frequency is the radio frequency that you're currently talking and listening on. The second one is the one that you're not currently talking and listening on, but you can quickly swap to if you need to. In order to swap the two frequencies, you press 1. Now if you want to change the frequency you're currently listening on, you can't just change the first one. You have to change your standby and then swap it in. You do that by pressing 2 for standby, and we'll set that to 1, 2, 3, 4. Now you can see that 1, 2, 3, 4 is my standby frequency, and I can swap that to my active one by pressing 1. Next we'll talk about number 3 for the ILS. So the ILS is your instrument landing system. It allows you to tune in to an aircraft carrier or an airport and get indicators on your system down here on how you can line up to make it easier for landing. So to tune your ILS, you first have to go into comms, ATC, and choose someone you're landing at. So I'm going to try to land at the Barden Air Base. So I said that's my landing. And it gives me an indicator of where I need to be to line up for that runway. But if I want better information, I can tune my ILS frequency here. We'll do 1094. And then you'll see this is fully set up. I made a whole video on how to use this to make your landings easier, especially in low visibility. You should check it out. Next, we'll talk about 4, 5, and 6. These are your altitude, heading, and speed autopilots. So before, you had some buttons up here where you would just press it and it would activate and set your autopilot to the altitude you were currently at, the speed you were currently at, or the heading you were currently pointing towards. Now you can use these buttons to set them to specific numbers. Currently, I'm traveling at an altitude of 9,148 feet. If I just want to set that to a cool 10,000, I press 4 and type 10,000. You'll see it over here, and then you press enter. It will automatically activate your autopilot and point you on that trajectory. Same thing goes for heading. I'm currently traveling at 346, but say I want to travel at 350. I hit heading, type 350, hit enter, and it will automatically activate the heading autopilot and send me towards 350. Speed is the same thing. I'm currently traveling at 344. Say I want to travel at 350. It'll increase my speed and set the autopilot to 350. Now the buttons to turn on and off your autopilot aren't up here anymore. Instead, they are down here in the bottom right. Well, they still do the same thing. You can turn one off, you can turn them all off, you can set it and activate it at the heading you're currently at, just like you used to. Button 7, swap, it just swaps the two screens. Next, let's talk about 8 and 9. 8 is the laser code you're currently broadcasting, 9 is the laser code that you are currently targeting. What that means is, if you look over at the TGP right here, you'll see that the number says 9460. That is the laser code that I'm currently broadcasting. Now, if I wanted to target some artillery targets here, but I don't have any bombs, my friend could pull up some GBU-12, some laser guided bombs, and set their seek to 9460, and they can shoot at what I'm pointing at. So let's just set those laser codes as an example. So laser, let's set my laser code. You'll see it over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, enter. And now this number has changed to 1, 2, 3, 4. But I'm not targeting 123. I'm just broadcasting it. So if I drop a bomb, it's not going to go there. In order to actually target that spot, I have to seek 1234. And now you see that there's a little green diamond that pops up. And that shows a visual indicator of where my laser is pointing. So if I turn on so I move it around, you can see that I have a visual indicator that I am currently targeting that point. And if I was tuned into someone else's laser code, I would see a green diamond where their laser is pointing. All right, last but not least, we have the bingo fuel button. So the bingo fuel button is just used where you can set an actual number for your fuel. And when it hits, when your fuel gets down to that number, it will give you a warning. It's that simple. So right now I have just over 6,100 fuel. So let's set this to 6,100. So when that gets down there, I got my bingo fuel warning. So if you know that you need a certain amount of fuel to get back to the carrier, or you just want to be warned when you get to a certain point, just in case you're not paying attention, you set your bingo fuel indicator to that number. 